So this is going to sound more like something from a celebrity gossip channel than a tech channel, but NVIDIA and Intel are kind of together. What I mean by that is that they're working on a kind of collaboration, which we haven't really seen before, between the members of the big three. In this $5 billion deal, we'll be seeing the introduction of chips with Intel CPU cores and NVIDIA GPU cores. And while well, naturally this will be mostly used with AI data center stuff, however, they've also explicitly stated that you, yes, you at home who has no interest in all that data center nonsense, you'll be benefiting from this as well with home consumer products that utilize the best of both Intel and NVIDIA. So you can imagine laptops with, say, NVIDIA integrated graphics, for example, rather than Intel. That would be a pretty big game changer, but also think about the possibilities for things that currently use NVIDIA graphics, but ARM CPU cores, like for example, the Switch 2 with its Tegra SoC. Instead of using off-the-shelf Cortex ARM cores, they could use the x86 cores from Intel if they can get the efficiency good enough, which they probably will. But now the elephant in the room. What does that mean for Intel graphics? Intel haven't really been too competitive with their graphics and they haven't been able to really make the most of the success of the release of the Intel B series and the more recent release of the Pro B50. And let's be honest, companies would rather create systems with Nvidia graphics because that is what sells more and that is what customers trust more than Intel. So at this point, I don't really see too much of a use for Intel to keep the Intel Arc division around when they can just put the NVIDIA graphics in literally everything. Your next Intel laptop could have NVIDIA on board graphics, which would be huge. Though with it, there is little point to Intel graphics being a thing anymore. And given how this deal already includes NVIDIA purchasing five billion dollars of Intel stock, making them yet another company bailing out a chip giant alongside SoftBank and the US federal government. I mean, at that point, why not just buy Intel graphics altogether? And with that, its fate would be tragically similar to that of 3DFX. But I want to know, what do you think about all of this? Well, let me know down in the comments below and maybe check out our Patreon as well. If enough people pitch in, maybe we'll be able to buy the graphics division from Intel. For those huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Ronyak, Balaj Roka, Patrick Harrison, little pseudonym, Meg Sumner, and Shane Allcroft. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.